Hello, today we're going to be creating a primary line rescue robot for the RoboCup Junior Australia Challenge. Um, it's going to be created with just the components from a Spike Prime uh, educational kit. So we'll start with creating a sensor array. So we'll get a frame, put in some stop pegs. And we'll get our touch sensor. And lock it into place. Okay, and we'll get some pegs either side. And we'll get our light sensors. So this is using two light sensors, so that's the only extra part that's needed um, beyond the standard kit is a second light sensor. Okay, so now we're going to add in our ultrasonic sensor. It needs a little bit of extra construction to make it fit. So these T-beams will allow us to get the connection a bit wider. Okay, so we can now mount uh, ultrasonic sensor. Now we want the cable to go down the side, so just move the slight cable out the way. And you'll see the cable can run down the side there, and then we can clip in the ultrasonic sensor. So we can also add a plunger just with a, a three beam. The stop and a wheel. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is add some pegs, a couple more pegs, so we can attach the sensor array to the body of the spike hub. And we're going to add a little bit of cable management. So this will allow us to take the ultrasonic sensor and just get it to go around the corner. So it'll be pointing backwards along with the touch sensor. The light sensors will be wrapped around Times and we can do that on both sides. And now we're ready to attach the hub. So 
So we have our hub, and it can just attach it to here. And then we can take our light sensors. Oops. And plug them in. Um, is two. So there we have the completed sensor array with the hub and we'll move on to adding the motors. So for this we just need to add three pegs on each side. And then we can add our two motors. We can add our wheels onto the motor. And do the same on the other side. Okay, so the final piece is to add on the caster wheel at the back. So we can put a frame and the cast wheel and we're going to add a little bit of cable management So we can now take our motors and run them over the top. Through the cable management. And plug it in. And we can do the same on the other side. And also plug that in. Okay, we can take our ultrasonic and plug that in on the, the right. Take this one down and plug it in on the left. And finally, put a beam to hold everything in place. Now, that's the body of the, the robot done. But because this is a rescue robot, um, it needs to be able to make sure that when it pushes the can, that the can doesn't fall off. So in that situation, we're going to add a piece in here where we can actually put on what I call bull horns. which will ensure that the 
can doesn't get pushed off to the side. And we'll do the same on the other side. So now when it pushes on the can, the can won't move off to the sides and fall away. So there we have a completed primary robot with its full sensor array, ready to go for the competition.